guys, this is Grandma Cheap Cheap and welcome back to my home here in Southern Colorado. Uh, this is the first in the series that I'm going to call my Vintage Kitchen. It's where I bring back oldie but goodie recipes, ones that you might be familiar with, ones that you may have forgotten, and maybe ones that I can um, put a modern spin on it. It's creamed eggs on toast. This is a recipe that I learned um, when I was a teenager. Uh, back then we had a 4-H club and the 4-H club is where you learn things like home economics. I don't even know if they teach anything like that anymore but uh, it was for l girls to learn how to cook and there was agriculture, how to learn how to take care of um, cattle or, or whatever. It, I, it depended on where you lived in the United States. So go over the ingredients with you for this cream dix on toast. It's really simple and it's an excellent way for you to use up those extra Easter eggs that you might have. Okay, I have it all set here and what we have is a cup of milk, then I have two or three tablespoons of flour, four eggs, salt, pepper, and paprika. Now those of you who are new to the kitchen and you may not have your spice rack or your spice cabinet full, you can certainly leave out the paprika. And I failed to mention, I did go out in my garden and get the first sprigs of um, chives for this season, and they have come back beautifully. Let me meet you over to my stove top. I've melted about two tablespoons of butter into my pan here and now I'm going to add my flour my flour, my salt, pepper and my paprika into that mixture or into the um, the butter to make a roux. Now cook this um, flour mixture for about a minute or so because uh, you don't want the taste of raw flour. So if you cook it a little while you won't get achieve that taste. Let's just let that go a little while. <coughs> and I think I'll put just a little bit more sliver of butter in there. Now you don't want it browning like a gravy. So I think I'm going to add my milk now. And I have one cup of 2% milk. And this is basically like uh, making a gravy. I have my heat over medium high. And we're just going to let this mixture thicken. And I'm turning it down to a medium low because it's thickening pretty quickly. And for those of you who are new to the kitchen, if you want me to do a, a video on how to make gravy, because this is essentially what it is, I will. As you see, back in the day when I learned how to make this recipe, I didn't use a box grater, which I do now, and I just cubed it um, 
cube my egg. So you can do it either way. The box grater is quicker. And a little smoother. So I'm adding my egg mixture. My eggs to my um, roux. And it's a little thick. I think I'll get some milk and thin it out a little more. Maybe about a quarter of a cup. Yeah, that's much better. So you want the consistency of a loose um, soup. Okay, I'm going to turn this off and prepare my bread for uh, toasting. Okay, here is the finished product of our cream eggs on toast and don't they look yummy. Of course I have uh, cut some some chives over them. If you don't have chives then you can certainly um, use paprika. If you don't have paprika salt and pepper would be fine. Um, this Every time I make this, I fall in love with it over again. Let me just do a taste test. It's so good. The creaminess of the egg. The savory um, chive. And you can have it with a side of protein or a fruit. I've elected to have just a, a thick slice of beef steak tomato. Please leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe and comment. Until next time, this is Grandma Cheap Cheap saying Happy Easter. Bye-bye now.